Waterloo, Ontario, a booming university city that's found itself in the midst of both a climate and COVID-19 crisis. I sat down with Dr. Christopher Lemieux, Associate Professor at Wilfrid Laurier University, to talk about how COVID-19 correlates with the climate crisis and how these two have affected Waterloo's natural resources. When I think about uh, COVID and the Waterloo region and the resources that are available uh, to us, what I really see is kind of a uh, a little bit of a, a reconciliation with nature kind of going on, if you want to call it that. So it's kind of the, the natural resources that are within the region in terms of parks and trails and other areas that, you know, when the lockdown first happened back in, in March, you know, after the first month or so when people were, you know, unsure of as to what was safe and what isn't, you know, you really started seeing people flock to the, to the outdoors. COVID is a result of human activities, climate change is a result uh, of human activities and, you know, by protecting nature and using, you know, in what we call nature-based solutions, you know, uh, nature-based solutions in terms of protecting nature, restoring nature can both prevent things like uh, a future virus outbreak and can also work towards mitigating uh, climate change through carbon se uh, sequestration. When we're thinking about, you know, what a post-COVID world will look like, right? I really do feel that there's an opportunity when we, uh, you know, when we're building back the economy and we're building back society, that, you know, uh, nature-based solutions, nature in general, and you know what's been called a green recovery is is core to that, right? With uh, obviously considerations of equity within that as well. One of the biggest problems is that, you know, just like COVID. Right, it will be less costly to prevent future climate change uh, than to, you know, cure it to mm -hmm. you know to the greatest extent possible. So it's just uh, again, I think there's some lessons from COVID that we can use and apply to climate change. From this, when we're thinking about uh, planning the Waterloo region, we just need to ensure that, um, you know, as part of this green recovery, that we have appropriate things in place like uh, trails for commuting right, and safe passageways for people uh, to take their bikes and to walk. Uh, and these are, you know, relatively uh, low cost, you know, in terms of overall costs. And they're things that need to be integrated into the planning process at the beginning, because trying to retrofit things after the fact is always more expensive, right? And um, so I just think that there's gotta be, you know, greater investment in making the Waterloo region a more uh, sustainable uh, community and focusing on more sustainable uh, transportation. When people couldn't go anywhere or visit anyone, they looked to the nature-based resources like parks and trails for help both physically and mentally. My hope is, is that when COVID-19 ends and we go back to our busy lives, we still look to these nature-based resources and protect them and lower our carbon emissions in the fight against climate change.